Good day Puyallup Tribal Membership. This is an instruction video on how to fill out the 2020 Puyallup Tribe of Indians COVID-19 Emergency Assistance Intake Form. You'll be receiving a copy of the application in your mail. However, if you'd like to apply online, please continue to watch the video. The first step is to go to the tribe's website, www.puyallup-tribe-nsn.gov. When you've reached the homepage, look in the red box here. There is a link here to apply online. It brings you directly to the application. You may have some questions. There's a link here to visit the FAQ. Also, there's a link here to view the emergency assistant policies. Also, here is the link to get the PDF of the application, which you'll also be receiving in the mail. Please note that the awards are capped at $4,000 per adult member and $750 per minor member, which will be paid to the parent or legal guardian. There will be a maximum of two requests per month process, meaning you can submit this form twice per month until your award is capped. If you have any questions, please email cap at puyallaptribe-nsn.gov. Applications will be accepted until December 1st, 2020. So if you are the adult Puyallup tribal member, please put your first name, last name, mailing address, your physical address, In the phone number section, please put a phone number that you have easy access to. This will be the number we will call if we have any questions about your application. The same goes for the email address. When you've completed this, please scroll down to the household member section. Again, if you are the adult Puyall tribal member, please put your name. Please enter your date of birth. Your tribe and your enrollment number. You will see here, there's another box that says, do you have another household member? Please select yes or no. If you do have another household member, please select yes. Then another section will appear to add their information to the application. There's a certification box here stating that you have informed that household member and or have the legal authority to submit on their behalf. Again, after you finish that, there will be an option to add additional household members to the application. When you have reached your total household members, you click no and you proceed to the next section. When doing the total calculations, please remember that all of these costs must be because of COVID-19. For instance, any regular year-round bills, such as rent, mortgage, loans, vehicle repairs and upgrades, insurance, utility, cable, internet bills, are not qualifying. Self-defense and protection items, such as firearms, ammunition, are not qualifying.
you have a personal business and experience economic loss, please note that this funding can only cover the difference of the wages that you received in the last year in comparison to now. For instance, let's say my personal business made $20,000 last year. This year, my business has only made $17,000. So only $3,000 are eligible for these funds. And I must submit documentation of this. Now, if you're submitting a bank statement, please cross out the expenses that are not part of your submission. Here is an example. I have crossed out these, these expenses that, that are not qualifying purchases due to COVID-19. However, you can see that I have made a purchase at Target and in my justification box, I will put that this was due to increased groceries and entertainment costs for my children. After you've done your calculations, put that total amount here in this box. In the next section, you'll see select all that apply. Please also note if you've applied for unemployment and received unemployment. You must also select what type of documentation you are providing. You can select more than one. Receipts, invoices, bank statements, or others. In the next box, it says justification and explanation of documentation provided. For example, I'm going to explain my bank statement. Be as detailed as you can with your justification and explanation. When you finish writing, please scroll down. You'll also see in this section of what types of documentations to upload, how to submit proof of identification for both an adult tribal member and a PUL tribal minor, this can be simple as taking a selfie of you holding your travel ID, or you may have a notary verify your identity and you can upload that document. This is an example of a timestamped image of one holding a tribal ID. If you have Puyallup tribal members, please send a copy of their tribal ID and or birth certificate. If you are a non Puyallup parent, and or legal guardian, you must provide documentation that connects you to this child, such as court prepared documents and or Puyallup Tribal Services documents and their birth certificate. You must also submit a copy of your government issued ID or have a notary verify your identity. Submitting the documents is rather easy. You can follow the drag and drop method, like so. After uploading all your documents, please read the following section of your certification. When you've done reading them, you click I certify, type in your full legal name as your digital signature, and today's date. And then you click submit. Please allow two to four weeks for us to process your application. If you have any further questions, please email cap, C-A-P, at puyallaptribe-nsn.gov. Thank you.